Hi, Malcolm. Can you tell me what you did? Well, since there uh, are foot and mouth problems in Devon, uh, for the people that can't come to church every week, we ring the bell so that uh, it reminds them of the poor farmers that are in trouble. That's really at the heart of the, the village is still very much in touch with the, the agriculture that's going out. So. Yes, well, there are farmers here that have been restricted to their actual farm and had a lot of trouble getting rid of their stock and are really, really suffering. Mm. Well, St Mary's Church was actually constructed in um, about 1235. It was first consecrated in 1269, and our first actual rector here was installed in 1308. The history before that, and up until the 15th century, is missing. Or due to sure. the Reformation. Sure. And then in 1846, when the uh, Victorians came, they did a complete overhaul of the church and uh, added all the new pews, uh, but they, luckily they used the original pew ends. The church is kept going as for, the, for the community. The village liked to come to church, liked to hear the bells, liked to have their little peace and quiet. So the actual church is left open every day, all through the year, except for when we've got flower festivals, sure. as has happened just the last week. Absolutely week's. gorgeous, isn't it? Yes. I mean, yes. what an effort from a, a village in year 2001, where we hear continuously from the media that churches aren't full, people don't have any interest in churches, but today here's a different story. Yes. Quickly. What is it? What's it doing to your life? What, what's it making of your life, being, being the virgin here, basically? Well, um, I find peace, quietness, even though the lawnmower may be going. That is a, a noise to me that I'm doing something for the community. It gives me satisfaction and calmness in life. Can you tell us about how you put it together? It's a village fun day. Um, so there are no real rules about it. There are rules, obviously, but not the strict rules that you find in some shows. So people can exhibit. We uh, we found that some of the ladies were a little bit nervous in putting in the into the flower arranging classes because there were one or two very good arrangers in the in the village. So we uh, put on a class for novices. And, uh, First timers and jolly well filled the class. We have 365 entries this year. It's a bit up. How many? 365. Yeah, that's not bad for a small village. But I'm afraid futures are down this year a bit because it's been a bad year for futures. Can I ask you a very serious question, gentlemen? What do you think makes a good flower show? Personally, I think it's because. There's no money attached to it, there's no money prizes, yes. nothing at all. And uh, all there is is one shield for the per person with the most points overall, and one for the children. So all people go away with is a, a red card, a green card, or a blue one, first, second, and third, and everybody's happy. There's no money attached to it at all. So in a nutshell, old-fashioned values? Old-fashioned values, that's it. Yes, you can't beat it. Hello there again. Hi, how you doing? Best way to see the village. <laughs> Best way to actually see anywhere these days mm -hmm. on bike. True. 
You were local? Used to be. I um, used to go to the primary school here. Was it a good school? It was a very good school. Some of the best memories. Are you visiting? Uh, my name's Mike and I used to, well actually I'm a bit Latodian. I used to live here 40 mm. years ago in the 50s. I've sort of come back to take a tentative look. Me too. I'm Fiona. I used to be here sort of 97, but I um, still come back and keep an eye on the place, see how they're doing without me. And how is it doing? S village schools in my day were a little weird. In fact, I didn't actually go to school in Bickley. No, it's brilliant. In fact, I've just been having a chat with my old headmaster, Mr Good. I asked him why parents, even from as far away as Tiverton, wanted their children to come to a village school in Bickley. I think they see a quality that possibly doesn't exist in sort of a town school in quite the same way. And uh, there is obviously the lovely environment we live in, but I think it's more than that. Um, I think many of them possibly themselves went to a village school. I, I, I realise, you know, that uh, we don't have that many children from Bickley itself, but I actually see the schools as a much wider community these days. I suppose as, as many areas of the country they have found that sort of communities have expanded and we serve as a much wider area than possibly would have traditionally been the case. Um, and yes, we are very much a centre of the community, providing both social events, um, opportunities for people to sort of gain education, both obviously for the children, but also sort of for parents too. Uh, and also a point, I think, where people um, can receive sort of help and assistance when they go through difficult times, um, you know, both from obviously the school staff and the sort of the wider community of governors um, and church connections. Well I think every village needs a way of communicating and uh, I think the Bickley Bugle has been an excellent sort of mag over the years uh, and we've seen oh, I think three or four editors come and go um, but uh, we felt you know we want to support the community and we do have obviously facilities for sort of publishing and sort of reproducing and we wanted to uh, uh, assist the uh, Bugle and the community in that way and it's also just nice to see some of the you know, local characters coming in, you know, having a chat with us when they do come in to do those jobs. Your copy for the school, Wendy. Thank you very much, Robin. It's the main reason that I took over the editorship of the Bugle Mike was it was going to fold. Uh, the lady that had been doing it for two and a half years prior to me had to move on, wanted to do other things. And... Um, I didn't want it to. I didn't want it to fail. It's totally local. It deals with all the people and things that are happening in and around Bickley and the area covered, um, obviously to some extent, by the school. And uh, if anybody wants to distribute information or to let somebody know they've got a horse for sale or some puppies, or what the WI are doing next month, or that there's a flower festival, as there is this month at the church. It's all in here. And 80% of the people that come to these things actually get their information out of the bugle. Uh, I think it's an extremely valuable part of village life. So I'm carrying on at the moment, and we'll see what comes out of it, how long, and who will take it over in the future, I don't know. Now, there are many people that do get involved in the school and uh, it varies from, from year to year but uh, one in particular is a gentleman called Mr Mulvey and I'm actually standing next to uh, a piece of work that he jointly did with some children over a period of a t two terms to a year and uh, he's a wonderful local character um, but uh, he came in and he worked with the children um, we managed to get a, a grant uh, to help the, the, the children develop a, a project, a sculpture project and he acted as an artist in residence uh, and the outcome of that was this, this lovely bronze owl and uh, well I mean the whole project was just full of sort of laughter and sort of fun as well as being a very sort of uh, uh, good sort of art project as, as a whole and the children I think developed many sort of skills and sort of an interest for the future as a result.